Greats.com and go with the home team at Mississippi Farm Bureau. Chris Lamonis joins us to talk about the weekend that was and what's coming up this week as well. Mississippi State in Oxford over the weekend. They win on Friday night, lose the Saturday and Sunday games. And, Coach, I know a disappointing weekend. Uh, when we talked before the game yesterday, um, I know you were frustrated with the way that the uh, the game on Saturday night ended, and then yesterday I'm, I'm sure added to that to some degree. Yeah, it did. I mean, you just feel like you have that game in control on Saturday night. Uh, tip your hat to their guys. They didn't quit. And, uh, I mean, we have the opportunity to win the game on three separate occasions and either don't make a pitch or don't make a play to do that. And, uh, you know, they take the momentum, credit them, and then uh, we just got our butts kicked on Sunday. You know, I mean, that's kind of the way momentum and weekends go. But, you know, the fr- the Saturday game is the, is the one that was really frustrating for for the first 15 innings of that series. We felt like we had controlled it for the most part and then um, just let it get us away from us. Did you feel like there was a carryover from Saturday night into yesterday's game? And, and I ask that because y- your team's been able to avoid that, you know, with, with big yeah. bounce backs after tough losses several times this year. Yeah, I don't know. If the I think the, the carryover was, I think it really carried over for Ole Miss. It gave them great confidence. They came out and played great. The, the carryover for us is that, you know, going into extra innings, you know, we used a couple of our bolts there that we probably would have had on the mound. Um, and then their guy gave them I – mean, it was going to be a bullpen day, and then their guy gave them a great start. And so, uh, for us, it became a bullpen day on a real offensive day, and we just weren't able to hold them back. Coach, I thought that the, the Saturday and Sunday games, for me, were, were the first time this year where you, you did some of the things that, that plagued you a season ago, getting guys on base for free, uh, some defensive lapses. As a coach, this week in practice and going through the rest of the season, what's your focus to try to get your guys – to focus on those little things that you have to do to win baseball games. Yeah, I just you just have to make a play in the ninth or a, or a pitch. You know, I, I think um, you know this. Shoot, most of these guys weren't even here last year, so um, they played at a pretty high level in the league. Uh, you know, Sunday was Sunday. Like I said, it, it got away from us, and we've actually had very little of those games this year. But you know, we got back into it today. We're, we're gonna this is the defining point of our season. Um, we know that, and so we got half an SEC slate three of the weekends at home. And so we got to continue to progress and become a better team and, and play good baseball. We control our own destiny at this point. So we just got off the practice field, had a good practice, and, and you move on, you know. But uh, we, you can't look backwards, you know, especially the last year. That's, a, that's way out of the way for most of these guys. Coach, as you well know, lots of people are still talking about some of the theatrics late in the uh, the game on Saturday, second week in a row that Johnny Long's been involved in in something that people are raising their eyebrows about. What's your thought on kind of the way that played out? And then also, is he okay after having to come out of the game yesterday? Yeah, he just had cramps yesterday. Did the late night and the early morning and, and just cramped up and I didn't see it until about halfway through the warm-ups, and then the umpire kind of motioned to me, and that's when I went out there and, and just got him out, especially in, in a game that's not that close. Um, the theatrics are, you know, I mean, I wonder how many guys flipped their bat after a home run <laughs> this year in college baseball. I mean, yesterday, just alone, you know, I think it gets a little overblown. Um, you see it in the big leagues, you see these kids. I mean, I'm not a condoning bat flips, but – I've had many a bat flip from Ole Miss against us, too. I mean, it's not like, uh, you know, I mean, they, you know, like I said, it's, I, I think it was a little blown out of proportion. Um, I wish, do I wish he did it? No. I wish they'd all, I even keep telling Dakota, just lay the bat down, make it look like you do it all the time, which he does now. But um, unfortunately, you see it in the big leagues, you see it in college baseball. Um, it, he got a warning, which is what, the, what he's supposed to get. You know, I, I, if we want every kid to get thrown out that throws shows emotion in college baseball, then shit, we're gonna be we're gonna be like I was against Georgia two weeks ago. So I mean, uh, these are, these are young kids and big moments and big environments and and um, you know he flipped his bat. Do I wish he did it? No, I, you know. But um, he said I don't even know if he's ever hit a home run. I just think he was excited. So can we go back to Friday night and talk a little bit about Cal Steven? I mean, that was an incredibly dominating performance looked just completely in control kept old Mrs. hitters off balance what has gotten him to that point because it feels like he has gotten better and better over the last month well i think you're seeing a little confidence right now too right um three pitches for strikes can really locate his fastball and he's just been building on some good outings i mean you see guys all across our league do it every year i just think he's 
you know, build some confidence. He's kind of a workhorse type of guy, um, but he's been really, really good. It was an impressive performance. And, you know, Gerangelo on Saturday, you had to bring him out. You said there was some, some back tightness there. And when you have a, a, a situation where your Saturday starter gets off the mound early and then you go into extra innings, Coach, it really stretched that, that bullpen, like you said. Nolan Stevens coming in there in, in the final inning, a true freshman. I, I, what was your confidence level in him at that point? Because that's a very big moment. The crowd is very hostile at that point. It, it, it felt like the moment swallowed him up a little bit. Yeah, you know, um, probably, you know, young kid out there, but, you know, the, the reality was he's really good. He's pitching some big games for us already there. Um, the, the start by low, that it, it hamstrings you, you know, like it does. It, it, it left us a couple innings short in that game, um, and you saw it at the end of the game. You saw, not even at the in the extra innings, just in the eighth and ninth. If we get five or six out of low, which we've gotten all year, then, then you're pitching the eighth and the ninth a little bit different. But, um but, you know, like I said, he had a little tight back. He's, he's better today, uh, seems fine, and, and just, you know, ready to get out there and compete. But he, um, you know, it's just been a, uh, you know, just, just a tough day on the bullpen for everybody. He put Carson in a little different spot, too, um, and Silky in a little different spot. So it kind of everybody kind of got out of whack a little bit when the, when the start is so short. Visiting with Chris Lamonis, head baseball coach at Mississippi State. So turning the page to this week, Alcorn State on Tuesday night. Looking for obviously a bounce back in a, a non-conference game, and then this weekend, um, Super Bulldog weekend is obviously a very big one on the uh, the Mississippi State campus. The crowds are huge, and you got an Auburn team that's coming in that I don't even know how you describe Auburn. I don't, I don't know if snake bit is the right word. It just struggling, lack of confidence. I, I don't know how you su- dis- describe them, but they've been in a lot of close games. Oh yeah, I mean they they've played a really probably the toughest start to the league, you know, um, and and have had some tough games. So I, I I just think everybody has, you know, we say close games. God, how many close games is there? They're they're in our league every weekend. We're all in close games, you know. But I just think they played a really tough schedule, you know, here early on, and and you know you lose your confidence a little bit, and it, it affects you, you know. And you know it, it doesn't. Everybody is. I told our team today. Everybody is good in this league. Everybody has really talented players. Everybody has really talented coaching staff. Butch Thompson, and he's done this so many times. They have they have good teams over there. They they know how to be coached. So uh, we got to come out with our A game. Uh, you know what somebody's done or you know done over the last couple of weeks. We just saw that with Ole Miss. They they were coming in not not feeling great, and so uh, we have to go out and play really good baseball. We can't. You know we have to treat everybody in our league. Even Alcorn State on Tuesday. We the, the message of the team was today is for us to play our best, not play to our opponents or or what our opponents are done and, and like I said Auburn's they, they got good players over there and um, they got good coaches over there so they've had a, a tough start and it's you know a little bit of it is because they they got the tough end of the schedule you know and um, but you know we feel like the you know we've been to A&M the, at Florida LSU I mean, we went through two four six you know there for a couple weeks so uh, probably the last couple weeks haven't been as high as ranked teams as what they've had to deal with so um, it'll be a, it'll be a fun weekend. It'll be a packed house here in town. Almost like the SEC is pretty good in baseball. This just in. Yeah, it's just everybody. I mean, I mean, Florida went to Missouri and got sweat. I mean, like you're sitting there. I mean, you see it every weekend. Of you know, Alabama just beat number one in the country. Arkansas, like it's just it's just the league is really good, and you have to show up and play every pitch every weekend. Coach, always appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. All right, thanks, guys.